I decree 2015, every captivity of your life is turned already. For somebody, your relationship captivity has turned. The issue of your marriage has already turned. The issue of your family has already turned. I decree the God of Graceland has told me to declare to you this new year the grace of God will accompany you. The grace of God will follow you. You will experience heaven on earth. In your finances, you will experience heaven on earth. In your going out, you will experience heaven on earth. A thousand shall fall. Ten thousand shall fall. It will not be your portion. La cote sous ce licata la brada la ekete, le kete sous ce licata la kata la brata le kete, le kete sous ce licata la brada la okoto so licata baba, ma kwa to alia kata la bra kata la zeze licata la, la kwa to alia kata la brata le kete se lika. Ekete suse li kata la brade, lekete o seketa, makota pre ekete, o se li kata, la kwa toa e akata, lekete kete o se li kata la, makoto priya, lekete o se li akata, mante kete isa la prado, lekete o sa gada, la mana bragota ekete suze, i kata brekete o se li agada, Mate prekete suseli katala, makoto proya, okete oseli akata, makota prale katalo, le kataleka okoto suse lika, la brakwa toale akata, la kata zeze, ikata bre, ikata bre, ikata bre, la suseli katala, lanto pro ekete suseli ka, enkete osoli ababa, maketa oko, ikata bre, ikata bre, ikata bre, la suseli ka. Kata la brata liga, enkete liga, okoto soli kata la brada, lekete suse li kata la mada, ekete ikata bro, lakota brikata la gadayaga. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Let your name alone be glorified. Jesus, we say thank you. We say thank you. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you, Lord, for this is a day you have made. We choose to rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you for the followers. Thank you for the viewers. Thank you for the family. Thank you for friends. Thank you, O oh Lord, for overcomers. And let your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our soon coming King. This is God's servant, Simeon L. Dumba, privileged president and founder of the Liberty Christian Center, group of churches in Liberia and United States of America. And I come to you once again in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. What a good day or what a better time to be in the presence of the Lord. You are welcome to the hour of liberty, the hour of freedom, the hour of breakthrough. And this is the breakthrough hour of prayer. And we are coming to you from the Republic of Liberia in West Africa. This morning we want to continue in our series. We've been talking about wisdom for crisis time. And this wisdom of Christ that this morning I want us to read a passage of scripture. It will do brief exhortation and we will pray. If you don't know the purpose of a thing, abuse is inevitable. 
If you don't know why we pray or why we come online to exalt you and to pray with you, if you don't understand why, you may misunderstand or misconstrue our objective of coming to you. And if you don't understand, you will not draw virtues out of what is happening. So this night, I will be helping you to understand a little deeper why we always come out this hour and why we do what we do with you at this hour of prayer in the name of Jesus. Now, James chapter 5, and I read from verse number 13. James chapter 5, and I read from verse 13. Is any among you suffering, let him pray. Is any cheerful, let him sing psalms. Is any among you sick, let him call on the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he has committed any sin, it shall be forgiven him. Confess your trespasses one to another. Pray one for another that you may be healed. For the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Elijah was a man subject to like passion, and he prayed that it would not rain, and it did not rain on the earth for three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heavens gave rain, and the earth produced its fruits. Christian friends, this is one of the greatest masterpieces in scriptures when it comes to the subject of prayer prayer changes things prayer is the foundation of our very success in christendom prayer is a major priority in the life of every believer if you study the life of everyone who has walked this planet earth who has had some exploits in life in ministry anyone who must have been blessed of god will tell you they have one thing in common. And what is that? They are people who understand the power, who understood the power of prayer. So one thing you need to obtain in time of crisis, and one thing you must do when crisis come your way, is to pray. But my Bible says we should pray without ceasing. But many of us as believers, as Christians, we don't understand the power and the potency of prayer. This is why we cease without praying. We cease without praying. Prayer is the foundation for our success. Prayer is the major priority for living. Your prayer will determine your life. If your life is not bearable if your life is becoming unbearable if you are going through stress and emotional breakdown you are going through financial breakdown or you are in the midst of kobe 19 and it's like you don't understand your way forward the best thing to do when you don't know what to do is to pray the only thing to do when you don't know what to do is to pray the only way to go if you don't know where to go is to pray Prayer is the key that unlocks the storeroom of heaven and releases the harvest to those who desire it. Prayer is that one thing that changes all things in scripture. Prayer. Jesus was a man of prayer. Elijah was a man of prayer. Daniel was a man of prayer. Joseph was a man of prayer. The apostles were all men of prayer. So who are you? Who are you? They all went through crisis. They all obtain their promise. They run righteousness. You cannot live a righteous life on this earth without the ministry of prayer. The ministry of preaching is limited to a few, but the ministry of prayer is exposed to all. As long as you are a believer, Jesus said you should watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. So prayer delivers us from evil. Prayer also guides us into successful living into profitable ventures prayer is the key prayer will separate us from the plans of the enemy and put us on track with the plans of god prayer will release supernatural help any day anytime prayer will release supernatural help any day anytime so christian friends the one thing you must do when you are down and out the one thing you must do when you are hurting out there the one thing you must do when you are confused out there don't even wait until the confusion come pray always pray always pray always and those who don't
pray, they may end up as prey in the hands of the evil one. They end up as specimen in the hands of the evil one. The evil one is afraid of one thing. And what is that one thing? People and persons who pray. People who pray consistently and continuously. Now let's examine some, some other scriptures talking about prayer. My Bible says in First Thessalonians chapter 5 from verse 16, he said rejoice evermore and again I say rejoice. But he didn't stop there. Because if you are rejoicing as a Christian and you don't understand the ministry of prayer, your joy will be short-lifted because the enemy will hit you hard and your joy may turn to sorrow. So he said rejoice evermore and again I say rejoice. Good. The very next verse, he said, pray without ceasing. So, Christian friend, in time of peace, prepare for war. In time of war, prepare for peace, but be praying. He said, pray always. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks. It is there for everything. So, even in the midst of COVID-19, give thanks. I was talking to my wife and uh, some of my staff this day. We had a brief meeting, and I said, we must thank God even in COVID-19, in the midst of the pandemic, the global pandemic, in the midst of the crisis, we are, we are still hearing testimonies, we are still seeing the hands of God, the church doors is open, and the heavens are open, and blessings continue to flow back and forth. We must give Him thanks in everything we must give. So we are not thanking Him for the death. Of people around the globe but we are thanking that even in the midst of death and hardship God is still helping us God is still delivering us God is still answering prayers so he said everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you so you must give thanks always always you must pray always for also speaking in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 18 he said pray always with all prayer and supplication. So, Christian friend, I don't want to do a lot of teaching this morning. All I want to do is to pray for you. I want to stand in a gap and pray for you. Because Apostle Paul mentioned also in Ephesians chapter 1, from verse 16, he says, Since I heard of what God is doing in your life, I have not ceased to pray for you. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ will give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. That the eyes of your understanding be enlightened. That you will know the hope of your calling. And you will know the riches of his glory, of his inheritance in the sin. And the exceeding and the exceeding greatness of his power to us who, who believe. The power that he wrought when he raised Christ from the dead. So power is available when we pray and ask for it. Paul said, this is why I don't cease to pray for you. As I buy my knees to the Lord Jesus Christ, I'm asking that the King of glory will release the gift of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Because when you know better, you will live better. If the enemy can stop your, your, your knowledge level, he can stop your your, your answers. He can stop you from living a better life if he can stop you from knowing God better. So Christopher, we know God intimately by coming to him in prayer. But what hinders our prayer? Christopher, one word, one word, sin. Sin hinders our prayer. This is why a praying man will not fall in sin anyhow. And a sinning man, a sinful man will not pray. A sinful person will always run away from prayer, will not believe in prayer because sin separates us from God. Sin hinders our prayer. So this morning, if there's one prayer I need to pray, is the prayer against sin. It's the prayer for forgiveness of sin. Because Isaiah chapter 59 from verse 1, he said, and 2, he said, God ears are not heavy that he cannot hear, or his narrow are his hands shut that he cannot reach out to us, but our iniquities and our sin. In our sin, the Psalm and David said, "If I buy iniquity in my heart, the law will not hear me. The law will not hear me. So if God does not hear you, then prayer is a wasted venture." But if you know you have direct access and God is not keeping speech from you, God is not keeping. Now prayer is not a dialogue. It's, it's not, not a monologue. It's a dialogue. It's a two-way stream. When you pray, God will speak. Jeremiah 33, 3, he said, call on me, I will answer. Most of the time, we only rush to God and tell him our needs and we'll get out. No, we get to God, we speak to him, and we we'll wait for him to answer. And you wait for him, that still small voice will come and God will say something to you. He will give you instructions. Christopher, friend, this morning, I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you that your faith will not fail. I want to pray for you that you will not give up in the midst of the crisis. I want to pray for you that no matter the emotional stress, no matter the physical stress, no matter the strain on your life or your relationship or your job or whatever, be worried about 
for nothing. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer, in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. And the peace of God. Why we don't have peace today is because people don't press the button of prayer. They don't press on in prayer. In Luke chapter 18 and verse 1, this came to Jesus and said, avenge me of my adversary. He's, Jesus gave a parable. He said, to this end that men ought always to pray and not to fail. So if Jesus said always, and Paul said always, and Jim said always, ah, Christian friends, it's better you do it. Because if Jesus said it, and Paul said it, and Jim said it, and Peter said it, Peter said, be sober and be vigilant, for your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour, but you resist him steadfastly in your prayers, in the prayers of faith, resist him steadfastly. He said, pray always. So Peter said, pray always. Jesus said, pray always. Paul said, pray always. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John all talk about prayer always. In the Old Testament, Abraham prayed. In the Old Testament, Isaac prayed. In the Old Testament, Joseph prayed. In the Old Testament, Jacob prayed. So as a believer, our covenant fathers have laid the solid foundation that prayer is the key to success. Prayer is the key to success. I'm afraid of people who say, I don't pray. I don't pray and things happen. Yes, it's scriptural. It's scriptural because the Bible says if you are walking in obedience, God will do exceedingly and abundantly above all you ever ask or imagine. So beyond your expectation, beyond your imagination, God can answer. But believer, let me tell you the truth. If you don't pray, it means you are already in cahoots with the enemy. And the enemy is the one supplying your needs. It's not God. Because if it is God, the enemy will resist you. And the Bible says the only way to confront him or to stop him is to pray. It's to pray the prayer of faith, it will save the sick. Pray the prayer of faith, it will turn the captivity around. Pray the prayer of faith, it will open up doors that you can never imagine. Christian friends have come to realize that exploits in life and ministry is traceable to ceaseless and tireless prayer. Ceaseless and tireless prayer. You want to run through the troops, you want to overtake, you want to recover all, give yourself to prayer. Pray always. That was the apostles' doctrine. My Bible says, and they continue in prayers. And they continue in prayers. I know some of you have been a bit concerned. The way you see me come online every day, every day. It's like I'm a pastor. It's not, it's not tired. I can't get tired of praying. This is my life. This has been my life now for a good portion of my life. This has been my life. And that's this what I'm going to be doing till Christ come. I'm going to be praying. I want to be praying for you tonight in the precious name of Jesus. And so, Father in heaven, we say thank you. Thank you for the privilege we have to be called your children. Thank you for the privilege we have to be called your saints. Lord, we ask for mercy this morning. We ask for forgiveness of sin. Lord, sin has hindered our prayers in time past. Even in the midst of crisis, Lord, we have been sinful. Our sinful behavior has hindered our prayers and prevented our prayers. But Lord, we turn to you this day and plead for your mercy. We turn to you this day and we plead for your mercy. And so, Father, we say, let that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Let your kingdom come. We pray for your kingdom first. We seek first your kingdom and your righteousness that all other things will be added unto us. Father, we pray for the church of Jesus Christ to become salt and light in this land and in the nations of the earth. Father, we pray let COVID-19 serve as a wake-up call. We give you thanks in the process of COVID-19. We know you have better days that lies ahead because your word says the path of the just is as a shining light that shines more and more unto the perfect day. Lord Jesus, we plead for for your mercy this morning. We provoke your mercy this morning. Lord, you said when we call, you will answer and you will show us great and mighty things that we do not know. Father, we pray this day for the secret things belongs to you and the one that review belongs to us and to our children. And so Father, we turn to you this day. We rely on your help. You are a very present help in a time of trouble. I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence come my help. Our help come from you. Our help is in the name of the Lord. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run in and they are saved. Lord, for the viewers watching this morning that are, that are, are desiring your hand this morning, desiring your help this morning, let there be a release. I join faith with all the multitudes watching around the world. I join faith with sons and daughters, with family and friends, with followers and foes watching this morning. Lord, we agree this day that the hands of the evil one must be stopped. In 
in the nation. In the name of Jesus. Let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. In the name of Jesus. Let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. In the name of Jesus. Father, we ask for supernatural intervention in that marriage of that daughter. In the marriage of that son. In the marriage, oh Lord, in the destiny of that precious son. In that precious daughter, we ask for your intervention. Lord, the heart of the king is in your hand. You will turn the heart of the spouse. You will turn the heart of the children to the parents. You will turn the heart of the parents to their children. Father, we pray for Christian families. We t- pray take authority against every storm, every every form of crisis, financial crisis in a marriage, marital crisis in our finances. Father, we pray for a turnaround in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray this day for breakthrough, supernatural breakthrough. Father, we pray all for our investment in souls. We pray this day that our labor for souls will not be forgotten in the name of Jesus. We pray that the souls that have been won unto you will not get lost in the midst of COVID-19. We pray against backsliding. We pray against lukewarm Christianity in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that your light will shine brighter. Let the gospel light shine. Oh Lord, let your light shine in our lives. Let the light shine in the life of every believer that is watching. Everyone connected this morning, let the light of your glorious gospel shine on their ways. Shine on their ways. Shine on our way in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ of Nazareth. Lord, in the midst of the crisis, you will make a way when there seems to be no way. Let there be healing, O Lord. Let there be deliverance. As many that are tuned into this broadcast that are going through one demonic oppression or another, I say you are loose in the name of Jesus. Anyone that has been carrying the spirit of fear, I say you are loose in the name of Jesus. Anyone appointed to die this day, I say you are delivered. I say you are restored. You are restored. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lakota, Ikata Brave. Ikata bre, ikata prokoto, lekete suze lika, lakata. Lord, stretch out your hand, stretch out your hand. We disappoint every satanic divide. We disappoint every satanic council. We disappoint every evil gathering. Oh Lord, your word says, surely they will gather, but I command them to scatter. Let them scatter. Let them scatter. Let them scatter. Any evil altar calling for bloodshed in the land. Any evil altar calling for hostility in the land. Any evil altar calling for oppression in the land. We decree and declare it is not a Void, not and void, and not and void in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, we, we command this day every name that is that is below the name of Jesus. We command it will not rise in this nation in the name of Jesus. Lord, the voice of the virus will not be stronger than the voice of the law. The voice of the virus will not be stronger than the voice of the law. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over the lives and the destiny and the inheritance and the possession of all that are watching this day. We plead the blood of the everlasting covenant. We turn to our stronghold. We turn to our stronghold. We turn to our stronghold. We dislodge the enemy. We dislodge the enemy. We dislodge the enemy. We dislodge the enemy. In the name of Jesus, let this wickedness come to an end. Let this wickedness come to an end. Let this wickedness come to an end. In the name of Jesus, let the conspiracy come to an end. In the name of Jesus. Let the conspiracy come to end in the name of Jesus. Lord, let the curse be broken. You have anointed us to set the captives free. Lord, you have anointed us as a spiritual capital to fry the horn of a Gentile. Every horn of the enemy rising up against that son, against that daughter, against your church in the land. Let the horn be destroyed by fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. Custodians of wickedness, your plan will not prosper. He disappoint the device of the crafty. Their hands will not perform their enterprise. Their mind I will not imagine the enterprise. Lord, confusion in the midst. 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 La kwatwa liakata leketete isa la kota ikatabra rekatata rapota ekete usakata yaga ekete usakama makwatwa kwa liakata rakatata. Darkness will not prevail. I said darkness will not prevail. I said light must prevail in the name of Jesus. Lord, you said the path of the just is as a shining light that shines more and more. I and the children you have given to me we have a science and wonder. You say in your word, you remember us in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob will defend us. This is the day of Jacob trouble. But you are saved. I say you are saved. I say you are saved. I say you are saved. Your family is saved. Your children are saved. In the name of Jesus. Anyone
not planning your shame, they will be put to double shame. Anyone digging a pit, they will fall into it. Anyone digging a hole, they will fall into it. Lord, I pray that you stretch your hand this day. Go on that hospital wall, Lord. That child going through surgery. That brother going through surgery. That sister going through surgery. Lord, we pray for perfection. For perfection in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord God Almighty, restore life. Restore life in the name of uh, that is above every other name. I mentioned the name of Jesus. Let the curse be broken in the name of Jesus. And Father, we ask that your light will shine. Let the light of the glory of gospel shine. Let it shine and let it shine. And Father, we pray this day that everyone that expects a reward in the midst of seeking you, let the rewards be released. Father, we pray this day, as men that are appointed for eternal destruction, watching this morning, let there be a turnaround. Let there be a turnaround. Save a soul this morning. Save a brother this morning. Save a sister this morning. In the nations of the earth, O oh Lord, let your name be glorified. Let the blood of Jesus arrest every contrary foe that has misled them into captivity. Father, we pray for our leaders in the nation. We pray that we become policy makers and not policy breakers. We pray that our law makers, oh Lord, will become law keepers and not law breakers. We pray for the citizens to have their mind to walk, their mind to serve, and not about what we can give our nation, but what our, what, what, what our nation can give us, but what we can give to our nation. Father, we pray that as citizens of the earth, we will turn to you. We pray for massive revival. Lord, we pray for massive revival. We pray that your church will be salt and light. Let your church be salt and light. Let your church be salt and light. Let everyone that is named the name of God depart from iniquity. Depart from iniquity. Depart from iniquity. Arrest that contrary force in the name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you. We say thank you because you are able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we ever ask or imagine. Thank you for the sheer blood of Jesus. Thank you for the power that raised up Jesus from the dead. Thank you because that same spirit will quicken our mortal body. We command the heavens to hear. We command the earth to hear. We command the sick to be healed. We command the barren to be fruitful. We command the deaf to hear. We command the dumb to speak in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We command the fearful to become faithful in Jesus' precious name. It is done. And it is done. And it is done. The peace of God reigns in the land and reigns in your own life. The peace of God that passes all understanding becomes your portion. You are blessed. And you are blessed. And you are blessed. Have a glorious day. And see you at the early hours of prayer. The breakthrough hours of prayer. Please do the best you can. Share this prayer time. Share this brief message with somebody you love, somebody you care about, and you can never tell, you are also preaching the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And subscribe to our YouTube channel, subscribe to our Facebook uh, pages, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us, share with us, and follow us. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. Jesus is Lord.